In this video, I've prepared a video introducing the must-have Skyrim mods as of the last month of 2023. From the latest SKSE plugins to mods that upgrade visuals and outfits, I've put a lot of effort into it, so stay tuned. So without further ado, let's get started right away. First, let me introduce recently added SKSE-related plugins. There are a few mods I'd like to introduce. Firstly, the Headpart Whitelist plugin. Despite being designed exclusively for NPCs, this plugin removes unnecessary head parts that appear in the race menu. Sometimes, among the numerous follower and NPC overhaul mods, there are many unnecessary head parts that appear in the race menu, even though they are designed exclusively for followers and NPCs. This plugin ensures that only head parts whitelisted in data head part, whitelist, are played, preventing unnecessary confusion and duplicates in race menu and avoiding game interruptions when used. Next up is the description framework. This mod is a framework that adds descriptions to miscellaneous items in Skyrim. It proves useful for mods that introduce miscellaneous items or adds descriptions to default game items, enhancing the atmosphere or providing immediate information about basic items. While the functionality itself is simple, I believe it can serve as a foundation for other mods. Especially, Vanilla Item Descriptions is a prominent mod currently utilizing the description framework. It adds descriptions to hundreds of vanilla miscellaneous items, encompassing items from Skyrim and all DLCs. You can review each description in the Vanilla Item Descriptions Desk any file. It provides concise and immersive descriptions that will be displayed in various user interfaces of the game, enhancing your understanding of each item. Next up is Stamina of Shooting, Drawing Bow Costs Stamina. While not an SKSE plugin, this mod is noteworthy. It introduces the mechanic of consuming stamina when drawing a bow, and once your stamina is depleted, you'll have to lower the bow. Personally, I think it would be even better if there were options to adjust stamina consumption, like reducing it when aiming in sneak mode or increasing it when aiming while moving. If you're looking for a more realistic archery combat experience, give it a try. This time, let's explore some recently added animation-related mods. There are a few that I'd like to introduce. First up is Horse Slaying Saber SE with Shiazuo Animation. This mod adds the condition to apply Shiazuo's animation created by Dante0725 when equipping the beautiful sword Horse Slaying Saber made by Fourth Unknown. Overall, it features a fast and stylish move set with a powerful dust rising effect, and it even includes a power attack that allows for ranged attacks by throwing the sword. If you're a player who prefers a swift attacking style, adding this move set might be something you enjoy. Next up is Vakri Kanarin, Magic Sprint Equip Attack. This is one of the mods from Creator Shing's Expansion of Magic Behavior series. I'm baffled as to why this mod only has eight endorsements so far. During sprinting, it enables you to immediately cast magic and perform attacks. The attack motion differs between attacking during unarmed sprint and sprinting while magically armed. If you use the expansion of staff behavior, it can also apply when wielding a staff during sprint attacks. By adding magic annotations through payload interpreter, you can output the desired space. With excellent animations and practical usability in real combat scenarios, I wanted to introduce this outstanding mod. In this segment, we'll explore recently added visual-related mods. There are a few mods I'd like to introduce. First up is Diverse Dog Textures, Spied. This mod utilizes the SpyD plugin to transform the default dog models and textures into various large dog breeds. The mod introduces approximately nine different breeds, each randomly assigned, bringing diversity to the dogs of Skyrim. Give this mod a try to breathe new life into Skyrim's canine companions. Next up is Forgotten Musings, Executioner's Chopping Block. This mod enhances the model and texture of the Executioner's Chopping Block with high resolution. It replaces both chopping blocks found in Helgen and Solitude within the game. Additionally, there's the Market Leather Roof Whiterun mod. 
This mod changes the material of the roofs in White Run's market to leather, as shown in the video. It's a straightforward mod, but it adds a warmer and cozier atmosphere to White Run's market. Moreover, there's the Conj's Master Spell Tomes mod. This mod reimagines and retextures master level spell tomes in 4K resolution, adding animated glowing effects and particle effects. If you're a fan of the Conj series, consider adding this one to enhance your magical experience. Next up is Ancient Atmoran Remains, Mihail's Shards of Immersion. This mod introduces the relics and artifacts of the Atmorans, the ancestors of the Nords, to Skyrim. Explore the culture and history of Atmora through discovering skeletal remains, helmets, weapons, shields, armor, and more. This adidion enhances the immersive experience of Skyrim by delving into the roots of its rich lore. In this segment, we'll explore recently added outfit-related mods. There are a few that I'd like to introduce. Firstly, there's Coco Ari Uniforms. This mod is inspired by the character Ari from League of Legends and brings her uniform into the Skyrim wardrobe. The outfit supports CBBE, UUNP, as well as Coco Body CBBE and UUNP sliders, including Coco's new 3BBB body. The overall outfit style accentuates the female body shape and provides a somewhat modern feel. It also supports cloth physics and even includes heel sounds, so be sure to check it out. Next up is the Elusive Infiltrator Armor. This outfit set draws inspiration from the fantasy designs in Dragon's Dogma, featuring cloth, leather, and steel elements. Designed for both male and female characters, this set is crafted for stealthy adventurers preparing for combat. The armor brings to mind elven adventurers in a fantasy world, fitting well within the Skyrim lore. If you like the armor showcased in the video, give it a try. As we bid farewell to 2023, we hope these must-have Skyrim mods add a touch of magic and excitement to your adventures in Tamriel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on the latest and greatest Skyrim mods. May your journeys be epic, your dragons fierce, and your mod list ever-growing. And donations through Patreon are very helpful in video production. Thank you for joining us on this modding journey, and here's to an even more mod-filled 2024. Until then, happy modding, Dragonborn.